um, v. v, uh, K, and dash, whatever that means. Day 13. I waited for Mananan to resume his usual spying in the townsfolk before returning to the study. Descending through the trapdoor, I found myself in my master's workroom, his den of dark design. Certain the spells could assist me once the necessary ingredients were found, I headed for the staircase. On the floor lay a scrap of paper. I picked it up and I beheld my doom. Written over and over, down one side was a list of names. My name. Each dated eighteen years apart. I have little time. Mm -hmm. It's nearing dawn. I have no more need uh, sleep. Despite a day and night slept scouring Ludor, one vital ingredient has eluded me. The mandrake root. If it exists, then it is not my destiny to find it, nor to escape. The key to my freedom I will hide in a remote part of Ludor. The day is Miss Gwydion's eighteenth birthday. I can only hope the next will have a better one, for that is all I feel as I go to see my master one final time. Mm -hmm. The rest of the pages are blank. You didn't get away, buddy. Sorry. Yeah, it does. Let's hope we have better luck. A long, sad history. Page 12 and Mandrake. And I'll just say Mandrake. Okay. So, well, now that we know what kind of thing we have to deal with here, let's see what's over this way. Well, apparently we can't go in that direction. Alright, well, let's go down then. Yeah. Here's the town proper. A discarded fishing net lies on the ground. It has been here so long that grass has begun to grow over it. The seagull feasts on its latest lunch. Catch of the day's reject. Hey, we want it. We want it. Leave the fishing to those in the know. Fish, please. Uh-oh, apparently fish is dangerous. Fish must have been on dry land for a considerable amount of time already, as its aroma is less than desirable. Maybe that won't draw attention coming from under your bed? Yeah, really. I guess we could explore the, uh, the buildings, but I don't know. Let's keep going. Okay, apparently we can't go further south. Come on, west. Oh, here's a building. I think this is actually, yeah, if we go north, we'll get where we're going. Quaint build cottages. Let's take a look at this place. Quaint little college is home to the bears. <laughs> you see a table with three bowls. Your stomach growls in hunger. Let's go in there. There's no answer. Hmm. There are bowls of porridge on the table. Far cry from the fish, honey, and berries you were expecting. Homely bunch, aren't they? You're in the charming, cozy home of the three bears. Cheery flames crackle in the fireplace. The bears must feel the cold. Alright. Well, what's up here? No, more humble much. Alright, well, let's go up uh, Go up the stairs then. Yeah, can I eat porridge? Aren't you I might. I might. I think I'm going to check it out first. Alright, we're in the bears family cozy bedroom. Three bed chair with a chest of drawers. Dresser sits in the corner of the room. Yeah, all right. Well, oh, hey, is that a plaque? We sincerely hope that head isn't real. After all, what species would hunt its own? Hmm. Oh, I don't it's know. Humans. You closely examine the contents of the drawer. A small green bottle rests at the bottom of the drawer. A small blue bottle rests at the bottom of the drawer. You can see a very ornate pin cushion in the bottom of the drawer. Something tells you it belongs to Mama Bear. There's a little silver sewing thimble here. There's a spool of black thread in the drawer. Your clothes may be in need of repair, but you hardly have the time to worry about such things. You pick up the symbol. Your clothes may be in need of repair. Okay. Blue bottle. As handy as a small bottle may be in other games, you see no use for it in this one. <laughs> ha ha ha. Alright, well I guess we stole what we are supposed to steal. Let's close the drawer. So apparently even a thimble is dangerous. This little thimble is fashioned of bright, gleaming silver. It's probably like silver. Does it say anything about the different beds? This is, looks like a nice soft bed. Maybe it's Mama Bear's. This is a big old bed. It must be Papa Bear. This bed looks just the right size for you. 
Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Yeah. Can you tell the difference between the porridges? Far cry. Uh, all right. Well, let's save it. Porridge. Just right. So you take it with you. <coughs> Yoink. Can we take the other ones? Take the porridge and decide that this bowl of porridge is too hot. Hmm. Taste the porridge and decide that the bowl of porridge is too cold. This warm porridge is a pretty blue ceramic bowl. The aroma wafts up to and tantalizes your nose. And at least the bowl of porridge is not dangerous. Alright, I think it's time we try out one of those beds, huh? Oh, uh, I'm not sure, actually, because you know what? I think it's a totally good idea. Alright, let's try it. You lie upon the smallest bed and snuggle down into the pillow. Aww. Ah, uh, this bed is just right. You've fallen asleep. Hmm. Wow, he's fat. Hmm. Oh no, Papa Bear has found you sleeping in Baby Bear's bed. You're in for it now. Hmm. Oh no, he's picked us up. What is he doing? He's got to read out of place, Dad. Keep out of our house, human. Yeah, wow, that's it? I was thinking that to be actually far worse than it really was. Yeah. I guess I don't really need to resume the game. No. Apparently he's just so good-hearted about he it. He just throws you out instead of eating you. Yeah, that's nice. Are you looking for a slave? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, wanna go north? Yeah, let's go somewhere. Alright, uh, let's go north. Probably gonna get robbed. Oh, hey, the bandits aren't here. That's good. Alright, the time still shows us green, so I guess we're still okay. He's still looking for an instrument, I remember. Do we have an instrument? No, we don't. Alright, we didn't go south yet. Let's go south over here. And we didn't go inside the There's house. There's something one of the boots are that looks weird. What? On the ground. That orange thing. Yeah. Alright, I'm looking. Mm -hmm. You bend down, look into the small hole. It's too dark to see anything. Yep. No, not that. Don't take an acorn. Yeah. You can't see that item here. The acorns surround the old oak tree and crunch under your step. Let's mm -hmm. take an acorn. You pick up and poke among the fallen acorns looking for dried ones. You eventually find three dried acorns and take them with you. And yes, even acorns are dangerous. Three acorns are dry and brittle. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Let's go. Danger, danger, Goody and Robinson. <laughs> All right, go, go, go. Get back to town. Not town. I mean, to the the mountain. Run, 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 run. Walk faster. Hide yeah, hide all of this relatively benign crap that appears to be incredibly dangerous. There for magic. Oh. Nobody likes magic, especially wizards. Mm. You don't like other people anymore. Should we sing the wizard song, dear? I don't think I know the wizard song. I guess you do. I do? It's a very simple song. What is it? Oh, a wizard staff has a knob on the end. A wizard staff has a knob on the end. A wizard staff has a knob on the end. Or is it a wizard's wand? I, I I've it's from. Never heard this before, you right? never heard it? Mm. Oh, it's from uh, Discworld. I think it is a wizard staff, actually. Oh. I have read tons of Discworld novels and do not remember it. Maybe it was a movie. I don't know. I don't. Maybe video games that you're playing. It might be. All right, let's hide the mirror, the book, the fish, the thimble, and the, and the acorns. Everything else we can keep. Yeah. Done. Alright, now I guess all we really have to do is just kind of putz around and wait for uh, Mananan to uh, wake up. That or we can just go in there and murder him, but apparently that doesn't work. You don't want to murder! Why not? Sorry! No murder! But he's evil! And we're a poor oppressed slave! Yeah, but you're not capable of it. 
Oh, because you're just so noble of heart. Mm -hmm. And weak. <laughs> I don't know. Look at those pecs. It doesn't look like somebody who's weak to me. They practically look like breasts from this angle. Well, it looks like he's on steroids, where he has these tiny little legs. Tiny legs and a huge chest. You could call him Gwydion. <laughs> I'd like can to work he, out. Can you stand on the bucket and get some of Come on, let's stand on the bucket. Come on, stand on the bucket. Talk to the bucket. Feeling ill? Ha ha ha. Aw, we can't yeah. do it. So, let's just be, I don't know. Oh, hey, it's red time. What will Mananan have us do now? Hey, maybe we could just, I don't know, use a broom. Actually, pretend like we're being productive. Look at me sweep, I'm such a good slave. Doesn't it seem kind of strange that of all the different spices, this one is gray while the others are green? You're trying herbs and spices. No use for these particular herbs and spices. Okay, it's just meant to look nice. interesting. Oh, a wizard's staff has a knob on the end. Hi there, kitty. How you doing? This is Banana's detestable pet. Oh, I am ravenous. Fix me something immediately. Eat and sleep. Eat and sleep and poop. Like a baby. Hungry, hungry wizards. <laughs> um, um, um. <laughs> okay. Manana is patiently waiting for his food. Alright, what do we give him this time? How about grapes? Apples and grapes. Nom, 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 nom. All right, maybe we can talk to him again. Uh, master? What is it? Speak quickly, boy. If I may know, how long have I been here? No. The better part of 18 years. Yeah. Will I be turning 18 soon? Yes, quite soon. I have something very special planned for you that day. I'm going to kill you. Oh, the story from your predecessor's journal gives you a good idea of the meaning behind Manannan's words. You barely managed to hold back a shiver. So, yeah, you're crazy. Go feed the chickens! Go fat feed chickens. the chickens! Make the chickens fat. Alright, and once we do that, we gotta go back to our room and get important stuff. Well, no, I, I know that, but after he decides to, I don't know, take a nap or die, do any of those important things that he should do. Oh, there's a rock. Rocks are unsurprising. Hmm. Have you ever met a surprising rock before, Rupi? Oh, indeed. Have you? Many. Tell me of these surprising rocks you've found. <laughs> The Museum of Natural History has some really awesome ones. Ah, yes, indeed, that it does. For all those geology nerds out there. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Guilty as judged. Mm -hmm. Oh, my nanin, won't you come out and shout at us? Alright, I guess we're just going to wander around at random while we wait for him to bugger off. Yeah, there he is. Well, he was just checking in on us. Up we go. You can see most of the countryside of Ludor from this vantage point. So once we actually head back down below, things we haven't done. We haven't got on, on we haven't gone out onto the docks. We haven't talked to anyone inside the inn or the tavern. And we haven't found the secret chamber that he's talking about. We might want to do that. We haven't found the secret chamber. That's also correct. We should probably do that. Which uh, sure. involves pulling books in a certain order. There's also, uh, yeah, the desert to the west. Although we probably should take water if we go there. Uh, maybe we can go by one of those streams and fill it to our bowl or a cup or something. I have decided to take a journey 
Good for you. Yeah. Let's go find the secret room.